Hey Capricorn, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a reading for the week of November 5th through the 11th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, so we have the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Um, hmm. So you could be in between two different um, options or uh, decisions. It's like you may have two ways to navigate a situation and you are caught in between uh, both. Like you haven't quite made up your mind just yet. This could be the week though that you make up your mind and say, you know what, I'm going to stand up for this or I'm going to do this and I'm not going to be afraid. Um, and maybe having to do with like facing some sort of fear um, or facing someone um, for, you know, the first time in a while. So we have strength, which is Leo, seven of wands, king of pentacles. I feel like king of pentacles is representing that you have developed and grown um, into yourself over time, right? You are um, a better version of yourself with, you know, each passing day. And when it comes to this particular situation that maybe you haven't felt ready to face for a while, it's like the universe is saying, you're ready to face it now, right? Like you are officially, you know, at the best, you know, time to do this. I feel like you're more than prepared. Um, you're, you know, grounded, you're stable, you're strong in your own energy. Um, and you have this natural confidence about you that it's kind of like there's, you know, no way that you won't be okay, you know, if something uh, were to happen here. I feel like this strength card is also representing the fact that you're strong, but you're also, um, you know, more brave than you think. Also, maybe this is about the fact that you just, you finally feel like it's time to do something. You don't even need anyone to tell you that you're brave or that you're strong. You're just ready to go ahead and put your hand in the lion's mouth just as she is doing here, right? It's kind of like, um, it's now or never. Seven of Wands, maybe there's a little bit of resistance. Maybe you're um, having to approach or confront someone or something that, you know, has been um, challenging to think about for a while, but I feel like you're feeling like it's necessary, kind of like a non-negotiable type of thing. So let's clarify the Seven of Wands. All right, so the Emperor is at the bottom of the deck. For some reason, I'm thinking like some of you are going to finally demand that raise or you're finally going to demand, um, you know, to get the chance at a you know, different position or to climb the ladder, right? It's like you're finally asking for something you deserve. It's like you shouldn't even have to ask for it, but you're in this position. So um, it's like, I, I finally need to do this for me. We also have the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Pentacles right behind that emperor. So this definitely could have to do with work um, or something like money or business related. Like you're finally, um, you know, kind of asking for what you deserve. We have four of wands, three of swords, nine of cups, and the king of wands. So you're definitely going to be seeing a lot of um, attention and things going your way this week because of the fact that you're choosing to lean into your needs, right? Your own personal um, desires at this time. You're believing in yourself. You have that confidence and you are wanting to attract that energy. I feel like four of wands, you're going to have something to celebrate. It's like whatever you go and seek or whatever you go and ask for, you're going to get it, right? King of wands, you're going to be in a position of control. It's going to feel really good. I feel like three of swords could have to do with maybe the fact that some of you could be dealing with something where, you know, you may have to address something that hurts you or something um, painful may come up as you're kind of asking for what you deserve and that's okay. It's almost like the universe is wanting to validate and remind you you're human. So even though you, you know, are going to be receiving all of these things, it's okay to feel, you know, the pain um, from the past or like it's okay to feel whatever it is that, you know, inspired you to even get to this point. So it's kind of like just honoring your emotions, honoring yourself as a human being and just knowing that you will be receive, uh, rewarded um, and, you know, kind of like divinely compensated for your efforts and your strength. So let's go ahead and clarify the Four of Wands. Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Definitely feel like you're going to have multiple options here. Uh, multiple ways to kind of get what you're looking for. We have Temperance, High Priestess, and the Five of Swords. Um, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, maybe a Pisces. Overall, I feel like the Pisces or the High Priestess is saying, listen to your intuition, really trust 
your gut because you may be given multiple options right it's almost like you go and asking for one thing and then all of a sudden they're like okay sure here's here's all of them right now you're gonna have to pick one thing because it feels like whatever you you choose is gonna have a long-term kind of consequence like you're gonna have to um, be in that role or be in in that position for a long amount of time and so you want to make sure you're choosing something that you can see yourself being happy with and so I feel like the strength or Sorry, the high priestess is saying, trust your intuition, go with what feels right. Temperance, you've waited uh, quite some time for this to happen, but the time has finally come. There's a balance that's being restored here. And five of swords, you may receive resistance. You may even, I don't know, deal with people that, um, you know, make it hard for you. Just know that you are divinely guided, divinely loved and divinely protected. And this situation is definitely going to work out in your favor so ask and you shall receive uh really hope that you um take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one